hi everyone today i am going to discuss about numerical section if you prepare these following chapters easily you will get 10 mark in your numerical part so that you please have a glance on this following formulas list so that easily you can get 10 marks in the numerical part those who are watching my videos first time do like and subscribe for more updates first i will go through the chapter motion in a plane here the first formula is path of a projectile that is y equal to tan theta into x minus half g x square divided by u square cos square theta it is in the general form that is y equal to ax plus bx square parabolic equation okay you may get question in the form of path of a projectile or trajectory of a projectile next during the projectile motion we can easily observe the following terms that is maximum height capital h equal to u square sin square theta divided by 2g where u is the initial velocity and sin of square of the sin of angle divided by 2 into g where g is the acceleration due to gravity and next one is time of flight here we can observe two time interval small t means individual time interval means time for ascending or time for descending if we consider twice of that magnitude that gives the total time for a particular duration that is known as time of flight capital T equal to 2 into small t the formula is 2 into u sin theta by z next one is horizontal range means the distance interval along the x-axis horizontal axis during the projectile motion the symbol is capital R R means horizontal range R equal to u square sin 2 theta divided by g next one is circular motion okay. here these are the following formulas that is omega equal to 2 pi by t and v linear velocity v equal to omega into r and acceleration a equal to omega square r okay next i will moving to the another chapter laws of motion here you may get for problems from the these following formulas first one is newton's second law that is f equal to m a where f is the force m is the mass and a is the acceleration and next momentum symbol is p p equal to m v where m is the mass of a body and v is the velocity of a body and next one is force f equal to dp by dt here dp by dt is the momentum interval change in the momentum next acceleration a equal to v minus u by t here we are using this acceleration formula for the purpose that in the formula they given the initial velocity but they didn't given final velocity okay in that condition we have to use the this acceleration formula and also here in this chapter we are using kinematic equations which we are observed in motion in a straight line here the, there are three formulas v equal to u plus a t s equal to u t plus half a t square and v square equal to u square plus 2 a s these are the formulas related to motion in a straight line okay. but here also we are using in a plane why because 
for finding the sum of the quantities related to particle motion. Next one is coefficient of static friction. Okay. Here tan theta equal to mu s where mu is the constant term okay mu s static friction okay theta equal to tan inverse of mu s okay next next i will move into the another chapter gravitation okay these are the main formulas in the gravitation chapters first one is gravitational force f equal to capital g small m1 m2 by r square this is the formula for finding the gravitational force next one is escape speed or velocity from the surface of earth that formula is v e equal to root of 2 into capital g small m e or you may take capital m e divided by r e that equal to 2 into root of small g into r e where r e is the radius of earth when we substitute the all values we can easily get 11.2 or 11.4 kilometer per second next one is gravitational potential energy the symbol is v v equal to minus capital g small m1 m2 by r next the total energy total mechanical energy e equal to half mv square minus capital g capital m small m divided by r here capital m and small m are the two different masses next kinetic energy formula here k equal to capital G capital M small m divided by 2a here 2a is nothing but radius of an orbit okay sorry a means radius of an orbit next these are the main formulas in the, this chapter next one is thermal properties of a matter here also there are some important formulas are there for annual exam first one is conversion of celsius to fahrenheit temperature the formula is tk where t is the temperature temperature in kelvin scale that equal to temperature in celsius scale that is tc tc plus 273.15 we can we have to add 273.15 to the celsius temperature then we will get temperature in kelvin scale next one is relationship between celsius and fahrenheit temperature the formula is tc divided by 100 equal to tf minus 32 divided by 180 here tc means temperature in celsius scale and tf means temperature in fahrenheit scale when we simplify this we get tc equal to 5 by 9 into bracket tf minus 32 or else you can express this formula in terms of tf also then the terms become changes okay next one is ideal gas equation that is pv equal to nrt where r is the universal gas constant next one is rate of cooling curve in the newton's cooling experiment we are observing the cooling curve that relation is dq by dt okay. that equal to minus k into bracket t2 minus t1 okay. next one is in this chapter we are observing the expansion related to different dimension first one is linear expansion delta l by l equal to alpha l into delta t where alpha l is the linear expansion constant 
next similarly you can observe the volume expansion delta v by v equal to alpha v into delta t okay here alpha v is the volume expansion constant or coefficient okay delta t is the temperature interval next another formula specific heat capacity of a substance s equal to 1 by m into delta q by delta t where m is the mass of a substance next delta q means heat interval next one is molar specific heat capacity the formula is c where c is the molar specific heat capacity c equal to 1 by mu into delta q by delta t where mu is the number of moles of a substance okay, these are the main formulas in a, this chapter next one is system of particle and rotational motion these are the important formulas in this chapter that is angular velocity denoted by omega omega equal to d theta by dt where theta is the displacement interval okay next linear velocity symbol is v v equal to omega into r where omega is the angular velocity and r is the radius vector next one is angular momentum okay symbol is p sorry angular momentum symbol is l l equal to summation of i equal to 1 to n ri into pi where i is the system here ith system of particle i equal to 1 to n starting from 1 to n here ri is the radius vector or radius of a circular path or orbit into pi where p means linear momentum p means linear momentum next one is torque or moment of force the symbol is tau equal to ri into fi where ri is the radius vector or radius of a circular path or orbit into fi means force magnitude force vector these are the main formulas in the, this chapter. Next one is oscillation. Okay. In oscillations, these are the important formulas. First one is angular frequency. Omega equal to 2 pi by t. That equal to 2 pi mu. 2 pi keeping constant into 1 by t. 1 by time interval. That becomes frequency. 2 pi mu next angular acceleration a equal to minus omega square x next one is time period of a simple pendulum t equal to 2 pi into root of l by g where l is the length of the pendulum and g is the acceleration due to gravity and next one more important formula is time period of a loaded spring t equal to 2 pi root of m by k where m is the mass attached to the spring where k is the spring constant or force constant next restoring force of a spring that is f equal to minus kx where k is the force constant x is the displacement and minus sign indicates the direction towards the mean position okay these are the main formulas in a different chapters if you prepare very well or if you concentrate on these formulas easily you can get 10 marks in a numerical part and also as well as in a two mark problem section or three mark problem sections indirectly you are getting totally 
15 marks if you prepare these formulas easily you will get 15 marks in the annual exam thank you